Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk about skincare, grooming, sometimes hair, so that sounds like your thing. Make sure you are subscribed. Also come and follow me on Instagram where I vlog a little bit and I post a lot of stuff you're not gonna see here on YouTube. The Ordinary is a brand that I think everybody knows of by now, but I still feel like they're one of like the skincare world's best kept secret in the sense that not everybody knows how good and affordable their products are. With me, I have to be honest, their products are either hit or miss for me. There's nothing in between. And today I'm gonna share with you those hits, the products that I actually love and the products that I actually feel did something. But let's just talk very quickly about the brand. I feel like they have this idea and people see them as a brand that's very simple in the sense that they're just ingredients with nothing fancy or um, outlandish claims thrown in. And I feel like they're an amazing brand for us like skincare geeks who know a little bit about ingredients, the benefits of those ingredients. But then saying that on the other side, you have your normal average everyday consumer who's gonna look at, you know, salicylic acid 2% solution and be like, what is that? What does it do? So these products can actually get pretty confusing because you have to know your ingredients. But saying that, they are an amazing brand. So when you understand the product, what it does, what you can use it in conjunction with, and when to use it in your routine, they are nice, very simple products at a really amazing price as well. So let's get back into it. We're going to talk about four products I absolutely love. And we're going to start off with niacinamide 10%, zinc 1%. Niacinamide, one of my favorite ingredients, is known for being able to do things like reduce the appearance of wrinkles, dark spots, even out your skin tone, suppressing melanin production and also congestion. So in turn, reducing the appearance of larger pores. And this also contains that zinc 1%, which is gonna help with your sebum production. You know, helping with any kind of like major breakouts, future breakouts. Niacinamide, as I mentioned, is one of my favorite ingredients. It's an ingredient I look out for in mainly my essences. Cause you know, it really is a brightening ingredient but you're not gonna find 10% niacinamide in your essence. So I love that this is like a very direct and generous version of that essence in kind of like the serum-y form. So I've been using this for about six, six, seven-ish weeks. Yeah, about six to seven weeks now. And I have noticed a difference mainly in my congestion on the nose area. This is um, using a salicylic acid alongside it as well. This does say you can use it morning and night. I've only been using it in the evenings. Um, yeah, so once a day, I'm not gonna use it twice a day. And yeah, just generally the overall brightness and brighter complexion of my skin, which I knew this was gonna work. I already know nice and my works on my skin. And yeah, I love it. Like it's not tacky, it's not heavy, it's super light. Let's jump into the retinol 1% in squalene. Squalene is one of my favorite words ever now. It's just cute, I don't know, it's just cute. So this contains 1% pure retinol, which we know has been proven to help reduce the signs of aging, so fine lines, wrinkles, photo damage, pigmentation, general agingness. I have been so scared to use a retinol. It's that whole thing of you have to build up your tolerance to it, otherwise it can really damage your skin, it could dry you out, you could like flake off. Luckily, The Ordinary actually offer this in a 0.2% and a 0.5%. So for as a beginner, I go for the lowest, I go for the 0.2%. But this arrived, and I don't know if it's my fault or if it's the website I bought it from, but I didn't order the 1%, but that's what I got. But my skin was absolutely fine. I used a small amount. Um, I've only been using this for a couple of weeks. I've used it once a week to build up my tolerance, especially with this 1% and as I'm a newbie to it. So yeah, this is under a favorite product, even though I've not been using that long because it is a very good introductory, introductory, it's a very good beginner's retinol, and it's completely like got me over my fear of trying a product like this. But yeah, start with this. 0.2% though. Now this is amongst one of my favorite products of all time ever. This is the hyaluronic acid 2% plus B5. So I've been using this product for a year now. It's part of my daily routine. I can't do without it. So hyaluronic acid is known to be able to attract a thousand times its own weight in water and moisture. And you'll find hyaluronic acid in a lot of products nowadays, but this one's a little bit different. I'm gonna have to read from the website um, to tell you why, because it gets a little 
little bit sciencey. Okay, so this formulation combines low, medium, and high molecular weight hyaluronic acid, as well as the next generation HA hyaluronic acid cross polymer at a combined concentration of 2% for multi depth hydration. That's important. So, this system is supported with the addition of vitamin B5, which also enhances surface hydration. So, basically, what's, what that is saying, what that is all about, is hyaluronic acid um, it doesn't supply moisture. I think that's what a lot of people get confused with is they think it's like a moisturizing ingredient. It's not. It's a moisture retaining ingredient. And usually hyaluronic acid molecules will sit on the like surface of your skin because they're too big to penetrate the skin. And this means rather than attracting that moisture to your skin, they can actually draw out moisture from your skin, doing the opposite of what you kind of hope hyaluronic acid is doing. So it needs moisture in that air. It needs moisture on the skin to be able to hold on to that moisture. Otherwise, there's no point in using hyaluronic acid. So this particular formula uses three types of hyaluronic acid with varying molecular molecular weights. Um, and then it's also got that cross polymer in, which offers that multi-depth hydration, which they were talking about. Meaning basically it doesn't withdraw that moisture from your skin, which is good, which is really, really good. However, what I still like to do, any hyaluronic acid I use any in any product, I like to kind of do like a wet skincare routine as you know, so I'll wash my face. Um, I won't dry my face. I'll apply a toner, my essence. So it's all still kind of damp. And then I'll apply this hyaluronic acid and then I'll spritz over the top with mineral water and kind of pat that in. So I'm supplying that hydration. I'm supplying that moisture. I don't know if that does anything, but I read it somewhere and it feels great. And then I apply a moisturizer over the top. So yeah, use it morning and night in the serum stage. Really easy to use. And finally, we have the salicylic acid 2% solution. We all know salicylic acid is a type of chemical exfoliator, a form of BHA. And BHAs have the amazing ability to penetrate your skin that little bit deeper, kind of go into your pores and exfoliate inside there. Basically giving your pores a really good clear out and can also reduce the appearance of blemishes. Salicylic acid is usually a favorite amongst oilier skinned peoples like myself. So if it's salicylic Salicylic acid such a low percent at 2%, I'm able to use this daily. Saying that though, over like the last three years, I have kind of built up my tolerance to um, BHAs and AHAs, PHAs, all that kind of stuff. So I am able to use this daily. I do only use it in the evening because it can sensitize your skin to the sun. Doesn't mean you can't use it in the morning. It just means you have to wear a sunscreen. So yeah, this is the exact kind of chemical exfoliation I want. A small percentage, but daily, so you see quick results. I actually often just use this on my T-zone though, so where I'm most oily, so I'll do it on my forehead, of course on my nose, and a little bit <laughs> here, where I'm spotty and blackhead prone, and then I'll just use an AHA on my cheek area and on my neck. So yeah, you only need the tiniest amount of this, a few drops in little areas. But yeah, I really like that. I did also use the rose hip seed oil or the compressed rose something oil. I did a video on it, um, oils. I don't use it anymore. I only really use it to help me through my dehydration um, kind of stage. Um, I liked it, it was good. One product of theirs I don't like is the AHA BHA high percentage exfoliator. I'm gonna flash it up here because I forgot its name. For me, it didn't do anything really and it stained my skin and I spent more time scrubbing at my skin than actually kind of like enjoying the product. So that wasn't very good for me. Oh, I also didn't like their moisturizer. It just kind of rolled on my skin and didn't rub in. It was very, very odd. But yes, more ordinary product suggestions in the comments below, please. And as always, my videos are an open discussion. So please let's discuss down below. Product links will be in the description box. Check out the playlist on the side here for more skincare related videos videos and also the video underneath that's just recommended for you but that is it for me now guys i will see you next time